Hi, this is Rick from Rick's Daily Tips Tech Blog. I work from home and every time the power goes off, I either have to pull out a generator or simply wait till the power comes back on before I can work. After the last power outage, I decided to take my home office off grid and go solar. This solar setup will only power the essential gear in my office, at least for now. The power requirements for my office are quite modest at just 104 watts in total, so I don't need a large expensive system. My laser printer uses a short 3 second 900 watt burst when I first turn it on and when I print, but I print so rarely that this isn't really a consideration. What I'm starting out with is two JJN Solar 12 volt 100 watt solar panels wired in series to create a 24 volt system. The panels are mounted on a treated 2x4 frame and the solar extension wires run approximately 20 feet through a buried conduit into my basement. Now I'll take you into the basement and show you the rest of the solar setup. Well, here we are in the basement, and you're looking at my solar setup inside. Any basic off-grid solar power setup needs at least five items. Solar panels to convert the sun's rays into electric power. A battery bank to store that power for later use. A solar charge controller to convert the power from the solar panels into the DC voltage and current levels that are needed to charge those batteries. And a DC to AC inverter to convert the DC power stored in the batteries the AC power for running our appliances. If you look on the top left, you'll see the solar charge controller. It's an MPPT controller from BioNO Power. The model number is SC-122430NE. On the top right is the power inverter. It's made by Vivor and it's a 3000 watt pure sine wave 24 volt DC to 120 volt AC inverter. You'll notice that it's mounted upside down. I had to mount it that way in order to keep the connecting cables as short as possible. And on the bottom we have two time USB 12 volt 100 amp hour Pro LiPo 4 batteries connected in series to create a 24 volt 200 amp hour battery bank. Mounted in the middle are three circuit breakers that protect the equipment from short circuits. These circuit breakers also make it easy to quickly disconnect one or more components from the system should the need arise. The cable that's plugged into the right hand side of the inverter carries the power from the basement to my ground floor office. I've been using this solar setup for a while now and I can honestly say I'm really happy with every component in the system. The BioNO charge controller automatically detected that I had 24 volt solar panel array and a 24 volt battery bank and it adjusts the incoming DC voltage and current from the solar panels to just the right levels needed to efficiently charge the batteries. The Time USB batteries store more than enough reserve power to keep my office gear powered up through the night when the solar panels aren't producing any power. Then they quickly recharge back up to 100% once the sun hits the solar panels the next morning. To the best of my recollection, I have yet to see the charge level of these batteries drop to less than 80%. Like the other components in this system, the Vivor 3K power inverter is simply awesome. Truth be told, I could have gotten by with a much cheaper 300 watt inverter had it not been for the short but significant power spikes the printer makes once or twice a day. This 3 kilowatt inverter easily handles those spikes and gives me plenty of room to grow the system if I ever decide to expand the solar power from the office to other parts of the house. I'll just finish up by saying this. I could have gotten by with cheaper components but since this is powering my office and my essential work related gear, I felt it best to go with equipment that will serve me well over the long term. And that pretty well wraps it up. Thanks for watching. If you found this info useful, please hit like and subscribe.